Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Byronic and today on Star Citizen we're going to be looking at the Drake Interplanetary Cut List. This is going to be a general overview split up into three parts. The first part, we're going to be looking at the ship in the hangar. The second part is a damage state test within uh, Arena Commander Free Flight Mode using the new pistol. And the third and final part is Vanduul Swarm in Arena Commander. I'm really excited to give this beauty a test. So real quick right off the bat, the version in Arena Commander that's available is the Cutlass Black. However, this in my hangar is the Cutlass Blue. Now the Cutlass Blue is a police and patrol vehicle meant to capture and interrogate enemy pirates, bandits, you know, the like. And the nice part about that is the ship comes default with little uh, holding cells. You Again, you can use these to interrogate Pirates find out the location of their hidden base and then go get their hidden treasure. Now, the blue is obviously uh, not fully complete. There's a giant hole in the ship. Usually in space, it's recommended to be airtight and not have a giant hole. However, as a side note, this area right here can also be used for cargo. And I'm sure you can swap out with the new ship modularity, these holding cells for additional cargo space. Uh, in the very back, we have a, uh, a little kind of gang. I, I wouldn't say call it a gangplank, even though the ship is identified as being a pirate ship. Um, but you can offload and load cargo prisoners and everything on here, just like you would onto, say, the Slave 1. It actually kind of reminds me of that just a little bit. All right, guys. Well, that is about it. Just wanted to do a quick overview. There's plenty of overviews online of this ship. What I want to do, though, is get straight into the damage states. So I will see you in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in free flight mode, and I have safely landed my vehicle, my, my, my poor Cutlass. I'm pretty sure I did okay getting this thing to land. Landing in the Cutlass, I'll have to tell you, is not easy. It is not easy whatsoever. However, I think I just landed this thing about as well as I possibly could. Look at this, this is amazing. This ship looks absolutely beautiful, and that's kind of that feeling that you'll get when you finally get in the Persistent Universe. You can land, safely hopefully and uh come on out and do whatever you need now we are in our eva suit it's pretty cool and the nice part about this is i can now access my wonderful pistol and you should you should probably have seen this before if you have been watching my previous new arena commander version one uh over ship overviews for the new ships that were added to arena commander so what we're going to do right now is we are going to do some damage tests. So what, I mean, let's just go ahead and get started. Basically, we're just going to kind of blow parts of the ship off. I mean, I know I just landed this thing. And I'm just destroying it. I feel absolutely horrible. There goes an entire engine block. That's pretty sad. And I, I need to get away from it. I can't stand. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go full EVA. And shoot the hell out of this ship. Hold on. I mean, can I get it from here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've blown off both engines. Oh, geez. Our character's going crazy. And there goes an engine piece. I hope we have insurance on this. I, I do have lifetime insurance. So, guys, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. And then there goes the center structure. <laughs> it's completely gone. And actually, I am too. I'm floating out. I hope I need somebody. I need, I need an adult. I need, I need an adult. All right, guys. Well, that is just a general damage state. As you can see, the Cutlass is looking really good in how it's destroyed. But really, really, what everybody wants to see is what it looks like in combat. So let's go ahead and jump straight to that. For the third and final part of this Cutlass overview, we're going to be in Vandal Swarm. So before we go ahead and jump into combat, I kind of want to show what this ship looked like just in uh, the follow camera mode. This ship is absolutely beautiful it really really is i mean in my opinion this is one of the coolest looking ships i know a lot of people are split on this design i personally love it so i just want to give you a quick view obviously that little uh, turret seat is bugged but let's go ahead and jump back into the hud design and go kill us some dirty vandal now a big problem with the ship as seen by a lot of folks, is how it flies. And, you know, looks aside, I mean, that that's kind of important to a lot of people. And right now, the way the ship flies, it feels like a tugboat. It really, really does. And that and that and that's a big problem, especially to me. Um, as somebody who wants to use this as a, uh, a primary fighter with uh, support from um, having additional cargo space and other opportunities, it, it's, it's disappointing. And the problem is, is that it has a lot of inertia tied to this ship. And that's not a bad thing, 
it's what bigger ships should be, but CIG has already confirmed that this ship is not done in terms of its, um, its, its flying capabilities. And nobody should have expected it to be completed anyways. I mean, that, that's the thing. And a lot of people have been doing a lot of uh, hubbub about it. And, you know, it's, it's, it just, you know, give it time. It just came out. I think they rushed it um, a little bit just to get it out into Arena Commander. So it's either you get it, na uh, you get it now and that's it or you don't get it at all. <laughs> that's pretty much what it comes down to and having me fight in this uh oh jesus having me fight in a little asteroid field with a ship that can't move to save its life is a problem so i'm gonna keep this relative oh jesus this is what i'm talking about folks this is what i'm talking about i think i lost my uh left guns but hold on i'm about to get this back there we go now if you are still with me and you didn't run off to the bathroom because of extreme nausea, uh, let's go ahead and test out the missile system. Now, we can get a lock from really far away. We really can. Um, but I'm not going to fire it just yet. Let's go ahead and do a all-out combination attack. All four missiles. Are we ready? I think I'm ready. My body is ready. Boom! And we got some leftover missiles. Complete waste. It's like wholly unnecessary to use that many missiles. But this was just a general demonstration of the ship's capabilities. One thing I did leave out um, was the uh, these cannons right here, the sucker punch cannons. Uh, I really don't much care for using them, but if you are interested in using them for now, you can use them to disable uh, shields very, very quickly. If you can get the hits on them, at least. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Cutlass. This is one of my favorite ships. It actually is the smallest ship that I own, personally. Um, and I'm really excited to take this out and see what the fully fleshed out version looks like. So, I think our ship is a burning mess. I don't know. How are we still alive? How are we still alive? Can we eject? Is there eject available in this yet? I don't think so. Oh, there we go. We can at least do the self-destruct initialization. <laughs> in lieu of a ending. I think this is a great time to end like this. See you guys next time.